During the evening of August 28, 1882, Officer Hugh Burns, 38, was shot and killed by a young Kentuckian who had arrived in the city only a few hours before the incident. Passing through Indianapolis while en route for Kansas City, John J. Jeter of Campbellsville, Kentucky, spent the time waiting for the westbound train drinking and playing cards. Later accounts suggest he may have been robbed at some time during the evening. About 10 o'clock, he suddenly appeared in front of Keating's Saloon at the corner of Garden and Tennessee Streets, armed with a revolver. Waving the gun at another patron, Jeter was heard to say, you're the one that insulted me. During the course of a struggle, the gun was discharged, the bullet flying harmlessly away. Jeter then broke loose and still flourishing his revolver made the crowd stand quiet while he cursed and yelled at them. Living nearby, Officer Hugh Burns heard the commotion while sitting in the doorway of his residence off duty. Without stopping to put on his coat or arm himself, he crossed over to the saloon to quiet the disturbance. He found the crowd being held at bay by Jeter. Approaching Jeter, Officer Burns laid his hand upon Jeter's left arm, stating, I'm an officer, consider yourself under arrest. Jeter was standing at the time with his revolver held high. As Officer Burns spoke, Jeter answered, The hell you are, and dropping the muzzle of his weapon, fired an overhand shot at point-blank range. The bullet struck Officer Burns just below the neck and ranging downward penetrated the aorta, inflicting a wound almost instantly fatal. Officer Burns staggered back and attempted to clutch a post but fell to the ground. As he did so, Jeter fired a second shot, striking the officer's left arm. Jeter attempted to escape by fleeing on foot. With considerable resistance and injury, he was captured and subdued by the crowd. Officer Burns was survived by his wife, Catherine, whom he had married earlier the year he died. She had been home preparing a meal when her husband had left to go to the disturbance. Hearing the shots, she called to him. Getting no reply, she ran into the street and saw him lying there. With the assistance of others, she lifted him and carried him into their home. Officer Burns is the first IPD officer known to have been killed in the line of duty.